In today's video, I bought a collection of sealed vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic pack purchase where I got some vintage stuff. This was once again bought from Yugi Hunter, who's another Yugi tuber. He also sold me those McDonald's pack too. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. Vintage 2006 McDonald's pack twos, which also had a crazy pull in them. That was super fun. It had the toys and everything like that. So it's pretty unique opening. If you missed it, you want to go check that out. But now let's get to the actual packs we have today. All right, inside this box is a bunch of like old, old packs. So we're either talking about original on limbs, just a couple first eds, there's some good stuff in here so i'm pretty excited to see if we you know got any good packs maybe some of them have some actual old school cards that we want i don't know let's just get to it let's see shout out to yugi hunter once again for hooking us up with more cool stuff this box is not huge so we can actually show it on the screen which is nice uh, a lot of times the boxes are too big this one is not because it's just vintage there's nothing else so if you are a vintage old school fan you will love this video okay let's break it open like that all right oh there's a giveaway right at the top okay giveaway so we do have a giveaway for this video all you have to do like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below oh my gosh uh, what do you think about these packs? And then you can enter the giveaway. I've been announcing them consistently since, uh, you know, about two or three weeks ago. I got back on the weekly schedule. So go check out the YouTube community tab. Claim any giveaway that you want. Make sure you send me an email at my email, roddyruxon34 at gmail.com. Thanks for buying from me again. Hopefully they are not weighed. <laughs> oh, yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> you're not you're not expiring confidence here, Yugi Hunter. If they are, shoot me a message. We'll work something out. Okay, so I feel a little better. Good luck on any polls. I included this Japanese parallel rare. I got in a collection as giveaway. This is a really cool card, actually. It's an Axe Raider. All right, Yugi Hunter uh, starts by scaring us by saying, hope they're not weighed. So, uh, me too. I hope they're not weighed as well. Try to get this Axe Raider out. This is the giveaway for you guys, but we got to check this card out, you know. Let's get it up close and personal. That is a beautiful card. Some say these parallel rares look like kind of fake or whatever, but I think they look really good, to be honest. And honestly, pretty good condition on this card, too. And I'm guessing this is pretty old based on this rarity. They don't usually do this anymore. All right, let's get this thing uh, sleeved up for whoever's going to be the giveaway winner, which will be announced usually on Fridays. Hopefully, I can keep to that schedule. I mean, as long as I'm not super busy, I keep to the schedule, but we moved and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got behind, but now I'm caught up. The last few weeks, we've been announcing them. So Axe Raider, try to win that in the giveaway. All right. And by the way, you may have noticed uh, we've got some of the wall. Finally, it's not just a blank wall. I know uh, the poster's still on the ground. We tried to put the poster. It's like a reflection, huge reflection on my computer screens, of my lights. So we're going to have to do something about that. Uh, there's probably a few solutions we go through. If you have a suggestion, let me know down below. I have a couple ideas. Haven't actually tried them yet. So we can get those MRD posters up there and get the background restored. And we'll probably maybe put a little something back there with some displayed at some point. We're getting there. I know it's taking a while. I, I'm glad we at least have something on the back wall now before it was a little boring for like two months. Okay, bubble wrap. I had a lot of bubble wrap for moving. I've almost run out thanks to the whatnot streams. They've been insane. I've used so much bubble wrap. All right, next, let's just grab, let's just grab a, a set of packs here. Let's see. So first we have, all right, Magic Ruler, good stuff. Unlimited, 2002 though. So yeah, we're talking about big stuff. I did sharpen this knife up a little bit, but there's a lot of tape here. Yeah, I got a knife sharpener. I've had one for a while actually. And uh, that's why I've started using that knife again because I sharpened it at some point and then I sharpened it again earlier, so. Not super hardcore. I did it for like a minute or two, but should help when it comes to cutting stuff. So magical. A lot of packs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen packs of original unlimited. Hopefully blue eyes tune packs. I don't actually know. You can check there. Maybe we will be disappointed, but we'll have to see. So uh, yeah, pretty amazing. We're gonna try to at least pull a foil in this video to see if they're weighed or not. If they're, you know, maybe maybe they're all weighed, and then we who knows how many we'll open. Let's see about these. I think this might be magician's foil. I think which would be obviously pretty amazing because magicians force, you know dark magician girl all that good stuff There is a lot of good potential in there. Oh, no, this isn't magicians force did we get magician? Maybe that was something else. Okay, KB toys. We have two pharaoh servant. These are first edition Okay, so they used to be 399. These are the two first eds. So there were two first ed pharaoh servant Obviously, hopefully these are genzo packs. I don't actually know we can tell from the back probably I think Think these are retail i think if i remember correctly but i could be wrong i'm just going off memory but first ed still i mean buster blader potential you know all that cool stuff so hopefully there's something like that here's more pharaoh servant coming up a lot of bubble wrap that i will be reusing because i use a lot of bubble wrap so if you give me any bubble wrap i will be using as long as i don't have a bunch of tape on it or hair or something like that then i'm not reusing that you would be surprised at the amount of packages i get and there's just hair everywhere like it might be dog it might be human i don't know what it is but there's just hair everywhere i'm like yeah i'm gonna have to get rid of this <laughs> these are original 2002 
Pharaoh's servant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Are these hobby or retail? 902. I feel like that's retail. I feel like those are all retail Pharaoh's servant, which means no Genzo, which is a bummer. Let's see what else. I think that is all the packs. So um, I guess it is all Pharaoh's servant magic ruler. Okay. What we're going to do is to figure out if these are scaled or not. You know, we're not going to open all of them or anything. This is not supposed to be an opening video. It's just to show you guys what I got. I also have to show you guys one more thing in just a second, but we're going to at least open until we get a foil on one of the, and both of these, I think. So we'll try to get a magic ruler foil. We'll try to get a Pharaoh servant foil. Okay. I also bought something else recently. I bought a light of destruction first at blister. So I just wanted to show you guys that I bought this. This will probably be opened at some point. I mean, there's a lot of awesome stuff like Judgment Dragon, Ghost for Honest. There's a lot of good stuff that we could get. So since we were showing like a purchase, I figured I'd show you guys this. That's going to be opened on the channel at some point. First edition Light Destruction. I have not opened that much because it's super hard to find. Okay, let's see. Which will we... Oh, wait. Let's not open the first eds. Let's... I mean, the first eds are going to be saved for a, a big occasion. So I'm going to... I'm going to set those aside so we don't accidentally open them because it is kind of easy to miss. Uh, I don't know for sure these are retail, but I think they probably are. But if we pull a Genzo, like randomly, I'm not going to be mad. So we have a 2002. You know that because of the logo. If you're if you're new around here, you're not super familiar with old school Yu-Gi-Oh. This is the original Konami logo. It lasted from 2002 to 2003, which is when Yu-Gi-Oh started with 2002 in the TCG. So in North America and stuff. So the next year they swapped it to the red banner logo and they've changed it a couple times since. So getting these is, you know, for sure these are original. You know, they're not like you know reprints from 25th anniversary or anything like that so always cool to get these let's see what we can pull i obviously even if it's not a genzo pack we would want something like a buster blader legendary fisherman thousand eyes restrict uh imperial order would be great too we have spike bot regulation of the tribe the cold wave skull mariner solomon's law book the deep sea warrior watch out when umi says on the field he's unaffected by magic cards he's 1600 but he's a five star so Legendary Ocean, I guess it kind of works with, but still pretty small, 1600. Keys attack, that little finger, watch out. We have Oni Tank Rux at 34. This is off to a great start. Okay, next one could be a foil. Here we go. All right, Nobleman of Extermination. So while we didn't get a foil, we did get Oni Tank Rux in 34. So I can't not complain about that pack. All right, Magic Ruler, let's try this one. Let's try Unlim 2002 Magic ruler let's see what we can get i mean even if it is retail i do like serpent night dragon but blue eyes tune is a lot bigger because the unlimited blue eyes tune is like over 100 bucks which is pretty amazing for an unlimited card jigen bakana which makes sense though when it's the original uh flash assailant we have turtle oh so we could get hungry burger we could get crab turtle we could get all kinds of good stuff twin long rods there we go andy thug noodles shout out to thug we have a uh, dark zebra red archery girl malevolent nuzzler Ancient One of the Deep Forest, the goat with a giant tail, like a massive tail, and Mega Ryuran. So we're looking at Toon cards. Mega Ryuran, pretty amazing and classic card, though. I mean, good memories out of that one, just being like, what in the world is that thing? No foils yet. I mean, we're trying to get a foil today, I'm trying to make sure these aren't scaled. Yugi Hunter did not did not provide us confidence by saying he hopes they're not scaled. He sold them to us, so at least that means he didn't scale them, I guess, but uh, yeah. Okay, we'll see. I mean, hopefully there's something in here. Let's just hope for both of our sakes. We have Infinite Dismissal. We have Bubonic Vermin. Seven completed. Enchanted Javelin. Burning Land. We got Darkfire Soldier number two. Bite Shoes. The All-Seeing White Tigre. Magic Drain. Okay, Magic Drain. We have been drained of magic. So far, we're 0 for 3. Usually in these, you get one every like four-ish. It's one every six for supers, one every 12 for ultras. But when you combine that together, you end up with about one and four. So we've opened three. We're about to hit ratio one and four. I mean, they are loose packs. They're random. So even if they aren't scaled, it could just be like, you know, it could just be a different ratio. You know, you might not get one and four. But we're hoping we do. We have House of Adhesive Tape. We got regular Rai Ram, which I actually prefer. A vicious little dragon. Shell, is that say sheltered? Sheltered in an egg. That looks deceptively harmless. He's sheltered in an egg. He's in there like, ee, ee. I love this thing. It's super cool. The egg monster. Reliable guardian. We have spear. Cretan. How do the cards look, by the way? They don't, they look pretty, they look like they're from the pack. Spear Cretan, like check the back out, you know. Not perfect, but doesn't look like it's been out of the pack, like shuffled around. We have red archery girl. Malevolent nuzzler. Ancient one of the deep forest. Is it the next card? No, I think we have one more. Fire Kraken. A squid that thrives on fire and heat. And uh, flying Kamakiri. Little recruiting action. 
We can summon a wind monster of 1500 or less attack. Okay, not exactly going crazy right now. Not exactly blowing it out. We're 0 for 4. We would like to pull something. So that way we know that you can pull something, right? I don't necessarily want to open all these in one video, but... One, two, three, four. Sometimes it happens. Infinite Dismissal. Give us a Buster Blader. First pull. That'd be amazing. We have Bubonic Vermin. The Vermin of Rats. Seven completed. Enchanted Javelin. Dokuro Yaibo with a snake coming out of his eye. Dark Bat. Insect Imitation. Attack and receive. And we have... Morphing Jar number two. We are 0 for 5. Slow start. We are starting to worry. But we've opened booster boxes before where we've gone like 0 for 9 to start. So sometimes it can happen. And we really don't want it to be like uh, four supers out of these packs. That would really suck. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, I mean, there are foils, but they are all crappy. Okay. The little brother. Where's his big brother? I think he's usually before that, so we won't get him. Labyrinth wall. These walls form a labyrinth with no exit for enemies. Liquid beast. A liquid life form that thrives on water. House of Adhesive Tape for Pegasus. Magical Labyrinth to go with our Labyrinth Wall. Dark Zebra. Red Archery Girl. Malevolent Nuzzler. Come on, give us our fourth, first foil. Come on. Come on, Yugi Hunter. Nimble Momonga. We're 0 for 6. 0 for 3 on both. So maybe maybe it's the fourth one on each one. So fourth one on each, like, Pharaoh Servant's the fourth one. So now it's going to work. Pharaoh Servant. Come on, baby. 1, 2, 3, 4. Give us a first foil. We have Overdrive, Numinous Healer, The Wing Weaver, a six-winged fairy who prays for peace and hope. This is a classic one because it's a massive attack monster, 2750. Flame Champion, World Suppression, The Burning Land, Darkfire Soldier number two, Buy Shoes, and we have Monster Recovery. It's starting to look a little rough. Here we go. 2002 Magical. Just give us a blue eyes tune out of nowhere. Even if this is a retail pack, which I'm not 100% sure. Uh, hopefully it's not. One, two, three, four. Could that last card right there? Could that be a blue eyes tune dragon? Could be a relinquished toll. At this point, I just want it to be something. Reliable Guardian. We have Spear Cretan. Weather Report. Whiptail Crow. Attacks from the sky with a whip like tail. The Whipped Tail Crow. This looks like something to be on like the Muppets or something. We have Performance of Sword. Giant Turtle feeds on flames. Magical Labyrinth, and we have Mother Grizzly. Eight packs in a row. It's not boding well. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is a rough start. Can we pull something? We have Souls of the Forgotten. Gust, come on, give us something. Insect Barrier. The Spike Bot has returned, a mechanical soldier created by a wicked sorcerer. It attacks with the two steel balls attached to its arms. It doesn't even really have arms, though. It just has steel balls and then, like, chains and then shoulders. <laughs> Interesting. Harvey's brother, not Sky Scout. Reign of Mercy. Type 0 Magic Crusher. Twin-headed Fire Dragon. Maybe my favorite Pharaoh server card besides only 10 Gross of 34. And... Michizuri. Bitch, sorry, this is us. This is this is Yugi Hunter. This is us. Yugi Hunter's holding on. He's like, take my scaled packs. He, he's kicking us down the, the cave. Ah! Or the uh the cliff. Not a cave. Or it might be a cave. Get down there. Take the pain. All right, Yugi Hunter. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. Though you didn't believe in yourself, apparently, in that note. <laughs> okay, let's see. So far, McDonald's pack two has been a better opening. Let's see. Can we get something? Something. The Reliable Guardian, I'll tell you what's not reliable. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to say Yugi Hunter. We have Spear Cretan. Weather Report. I would never say that about Yugi Hunter. Upstart Goblin. That is nice. Chain Energy. High Tide Gyojin. Boar Soldier. Hamburglar Recipe. Heo Zanru! I thought there was another card. Okay, Heo Zanru is a pretty cool dragon, you know, diamond dragon thing. It looks pretty awesome. Bastion uses it in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I, uh, I'm, I'm completely lost faith, but I am borderline. We're 10 packs in. We haven't pulled a single card. A scaled unlimbs. That's, that would be, uh, yeah, that's not great. We have Kuruch and Kuwagata. We have Souls of the Forgotten. Gus. We might have to open the first Eds, by the way, to make sure. Insect Barrier. We have Magic Crusher. It's not... Like, if we don't pull anything, we're just going to end up opening everything. Twin Fire Dragon, Invitation to Dark Sleep, and Monster Recovery has returned. The Recovery of Monster. <sighs> Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four. Magic Ruler. Come on. Electric Snack. Minar. Flash Assailant. Jig and Bakadon. Wall Shadow. Stone Ogre Grotto. Chain Energy. Come on, baby. Hightai Gyojin. Mystic. 
Demoto. All right, all right, all right. At this point, you know what? We need to swap it up. We need to do something. We need to do something. Because we're at, what, 11, 12 packs open? Something like that? Now we're getting to the point where it's it's pretty tough for that to happen if these are legitimate. We have Garoshi and Kuwagata. We have Souls of the Forgotten. Gust. Insect Barrier. Maybe they're all at the end. Who knows? Steel or Gregata number two. Earth Shaker. Mr. Volcano, that pointy finger. Prohibition? I'm being prohibited from pulling a foil. That's what it was. I think they used Prohibition on all foil cards is what happened. So no, you will only get rares. You will not get anything else. One, two, three, four. We have Eternal Rest, Darth Maul. Awaiting orders. Horn of Light. Sonic Bird. Tyone number two. We got Boar Soldier. Hamburglar Recipe. Psychic Kappa. Griggle. And we have a Super Rare. Oh, we got a Super Rare rare oh my goodness we had to open what 14 packs to get this the centering is atrocious on this thing that is a beautiful card look at the foiling on that summon relinquished maybe that means we're gonna summon relinquished who knows after 13 packs we've pulled a foil let's just see if pharaoh servant can pull one now one foil not great but if we pull a foil here that'll feel a little better going two in a row we have souls of the forgotten we got gust insect barrier spike bot mr volcano that fiery finger Science Soldier, Driving Snow, Harpy Brother, Force Requisition. So not much going on with Pharaoh Servant still. For Magic Roller, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've opened seven and we got one foil. So maybe these seven are stacked. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with Pharaoh Servant. We're gonna try to get a foil. Otherwise, we're gonna have to call these scaled, you know, if they, if we go over whatever, one, two, three, four. We have Armored Glass, Flame Champion, Respect Play. Gruchin Kuwagata, Mr. Volcano, Fiery Finger. We have Time Seal, Science Soldier, Driving Snow, Mad Sword Beast. So, oh for whatever on Pharaoh's Servant. Come on. Buster Blader could change it all. Could change it all. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. Let's go, Buster Blader, Enchanted Javelin. We have Overdrive. This is starting to a much longer video than anticipated. Wing Weaver, World Suppression. We have Burning Land, Dark Fire Soldier number two. By Choose, and we have the Shallow grave the pharaoh servant continue to punch us right in the face i think that's over 10 on pharaoh servant let's see if we can go one for 11 one two three four with a big hit cyber falcon he's cyber he's the original cyber card actually it's probably not actually shout out vibes we have drill bug dark fire soldier there's probably some random one only tank rocks on 34 that, that makes me feel better dokuro yaiba we have dark bat and uh, prohibition we are being prohibited from pulling foils you guys know how it goes okay three packs here we go send me some luck in the comments send me some blessings you know the, for uh 0 for 14 hopefully it doesn't happen send it over right now one two three four i need you guys help make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys uh are enjoying the video maybe if you want to see us pull something at some point we want to we have seven completed insect imitation we've been doing a lot of cool videos recently we did every legendary collection we did a three-year special where i pulled an amazing card we opened lob first ed recently it went pretty well a lot of good stuff happening oh mcdonald's pack too i've already mentioned that go check those videos out if you haven't seen them world suppression we have burning land and we have light force sword i don't think we're gonna pull anything out of ferris servant that's my inclination here after being over 12 the first eds are probably different but i'm wondering if i should open those or not one two three four come on give us a foil thousand eyes idol wing weaver i mean one for 14 you're probably still saying scaled but at least we get a foil, you know. Armored Glass, we have Dark Bat, Insect Imitation, Attack and Receive, Island Turtle, and we have Bat Sword Beast. All right, okay, 0 for 13. Last pack magic for the Unlimbed Pharaoh Servant. We have not yet pulled a foil. We pulled one foil out of Magic Ruler, so we at least have pulled one in this video. But the rest of the time, it has not been going so well. One, two, three, four. Last pack magic, maybe? We have Gamble. Imagine if we, like, pulled the one foil early and we're like, oh, these are good. Gamble. We have Cyber Falcon, the OG, Shadow of Ice, Drill Bug, Rain of Mercy. If you guys enjoyed this video or, you know, the theory of this video, I mean, it's hard to enjoy. We haven't really pulled anything, but make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Twin Head of Fire Dragon. We have Invitation to a Dark Sleep. We will have better openings in the future, hopefully. Last pack magic. Here we go. Mitch Zuri. So it looks like Pharaoh's Servant. We're scaled. Yugi Hunter, I, I, I think your worry was well placed. Uh, these seem to be scaled. I will hit you up. Don't worry, nobody, nobody get mad at Yugi Hunter because he, you know, he probably picked these up from some random guy who scaled them. So, or you never know, loose packs—they might not even be scaled. They might just be random. They're probably scaled though. 
And sometimes that will happen with loose packs. That's the unfortunate part about it. So we'll get it figured out. Thanks again, Yugi Hunter, for at least being willing to, you know, work with me and stuff like that. So we will have better luck in the future. Let's hope. Hey guys, I wanted to end this video by uh, having a little resolution on the pack. So obviously it looks like most of the, at least the Pharaoh server were scaled. Magic Ruler, we did have one foil, so they might be decent, but Yugi Hunter and I decided I'm just going to send the rest back. So the ones we didn't open, I'm going to send them back to him. Uh, he'll take those back. The other ones, he actually gave me a big discount on those since they were scaled. He even offered to not make me pay for the ones I opened, but I we decided on a price that was, you know, much lower than the original price, but I didn't want him to be completely out nothing because he reached out to the seller who sold them to him and the guy was like, not my problem, buddy. So I felt bad because, you know, sometimes they're crappy sellers. So we worked out something. Yugi Hunter's a great dude. I don't want you guys to think that like he was trying to scam me or anything like that because uh, we've had good experiences in the past. So I wanted to finish off this video just letting you guys know that a resolution was met and uh, nobody's out a ton of money at least we split it up uh yugi hunter will at least have those sealed packs so maybe he could just sell them as light or something like that or grade them or something so yeah i figure not opening those is the best for both of us because then if i open them and then i'm like hey these were scaled too so now can i have a big discount and like he loses even more money so that's just an update on what happened so i figured you guys would be interested in hearing about it shout out to tom fo show puffin zudum ernesto dan america deutscher kk beats another side show ian Mooster, junior Barney, robert f thomas mclean changlang and aldelso galicia jr thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace